Every year, the world commemorates the World Tuberculosis Day through which countries raise awareness about the devastating health, social and economic consequences of the disease. In Uganda, it remains one of the deadliest killers accounting for several lives annually. Annually, an estimated 15,600 deaths due to TB are registered in the country. Acheng notes that attempts to fight the disease gets complex given the emergence of new variants among the populace. We still have about 90,000 Ugandans developing TB annually, including 1,500 with drug-resistant TB. Information shows us that out of 100 TB cases in this country, 16 are from this region of northern Uganda. Leprosy, out of 100, 6 are from around here. So that means we really need to move into serious action. Although the prevailing figures still remain a burden to Uganda, the health minister notes that there have been some significant progress registered in the fight against the epidemic. Registered progress in finding the missing TB patients since 2015, with an increase in TB treatment coverage of up to 84%, up from 54% in 2015. Last year, the Ministry of Health launched the CAS TB leprosy campaign, door to door household and community screening, awareness creation, testing, treatment, and prevention campaign as a way of ensuring the country is free of the disease by the year 2030. Now, Acheng notes that the government is to further improve on TB and leprosy management services in health facilities across the country. We introduced a mobile TB clinic fitted with digital X-ray machines and will put expert machines to ensure same-day diagnosis, treatment, prevention, initiation at community level anywhere in the country. And the most affected are men. Many are dying and a lot more are suffering. This message conveys the urgent need to invest resources to ramp up the fight against TB. The USAID mission director to Uganda, Richard Nelson, notes that the COVID pandemic has played a big blow to the tuberculosis and leprosy case management in the past two years. In Uganda, case notification dropped about 20% during the 2020 lockdown. As part of the post-pandemic recovery, USAID partners have trained more than 400 community health workers here in Longo re subregion to help them identify, manage, and track TB cases. Currently, the northern and northeastern parts of Uganda have the highest prevalence rates of tuberculosis in the country. However, recent reports also indicate a significant rising in numbers in some districts in the eastern and southern parts of the country. Nelson Omoya, NTV.